Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie, and I don't always look this crazy. So today is another collab with my friend Max for Halloween. This week is our take on vampires. No, I do not have fangs or that kind of thing. I was wanting to get fangs or I thought about it, but in the end, I knew that the only ones I'd probably be able to find would be either plastic ones or really cheap looking ones with the amount of time that I had. So I ended up just not even doing it. I thought, well, I'm just going to add the blood anyways. I used all makeup base products that you guys will see in just a minute. The only non-regular makeup products that I used for this look was a little bit of fake blood that you can pick up anywhere where there's Halloween stuff and also, I used my Wet n Wild paint pot again, and this is just the white one. I didn't even use the black one today. That's literally the only two non-regular makeup products that I used for this look. So, not a whole lot. I mean, this was really simple to create. So, honestly, anybody could recreate this. I know that it's a vampire look, and there are so many out there, but I feel like here lately, the looks that I'm seeing are not as traditional as they used to be. So I'm glad that me and my friend Max are doing a traditional Halloween look, which is a vampire. I've always been, like, really drawn to vampire, like, books and movies and that type of thing, so I wanted to have fun with it. I wanted to get creative. I really liked the vein effect on the face. It makes me think of, like, the Lost Boys, um, or Vampire Diaries, like, that kind of feel with the veins when they start going, like, a little crazy and they're ready to attack. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, the only thing that I'm not like super thrilled about, I was a little messy with my eyeshadow, which I was fine with. I mainly wanted it to be dark and messy anyways, but I do wish that I would have gotten my eyebrows a little bit darker. It's hard for me because I do have red hair, and I kind of just wanted to keep like, you know, my regular hair for this look. But if you have deeper hair, I think it would be awesome to really make your eyebrows very sharp and very bold and like dark. So I would definitely recommend that if you do have deeper hair color. But besides that, the only other downfall is definitely the fake blood. This is just cheap fake blood. I don't really use fake blood for like anything. This is the first look that I've even used it. And it's just literally like peeling right off. So yeah, I mean, if you know of a better fake blood out there to use, if you're going to wear this on Halloween and you want it to, you know, wear all night or that type of thing, definitely invest in that instead of getting the cheap stuff. But if you are wanting just to create this look to post on Instagram or something like that, then I just go for the cheap blood because I'm really not going to be reaching for this. And honestly, I'll probably have to pitch it before next year, so... And like always, make sure you guys go check out Max. I will have her Instagram, her YouTube channel, and her vampire video linked down below. So go check them out after you're done here. Give her some love. Make sure you subscribe and follow her. She really appreciates it, and she's awesome. Her look turned out amazing as well, so make sure you guys go give her some love. If you guys are interested to see what I use to create this look, then just keep on watching. Alright, so starting out, I already have a layer of foundation on. I did use my Too Faced Hangover Primer because I've been feeling a little dry lately. But then I threw on a layer of my Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the shade 110 Porcelain from Maybelline. And now I am adding some of the Wet n Wild Paint Pot. This is just their white one on top of that. Then I'm adding some more of that foundation. This is one of the fairest foundations I have, so that was what I was going for because vampires are pale AF. I am pretty pale, but I wanted to just make it a little bit more paler. So I did this all over my face, and I also did this down my neck too, just kind of adding foundation and dipping into the white and kind of mixing them to make it even more pale. Then I threw on some of my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme to start plumping my lips up a little bit. I'm sorry if you hate foundation lips because I have them for most of this video. Then I threw on a, just a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to have a little bit more coverage underneath my eyes, but I didn't want it to mess up the like skin tone I had going on, so that's why I went very light with this. 
Then I jumped into my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. First, I took the very light shade, which is Levitation, and I powdered all over my face. It did make me a little bit darker than what I was without powder, but I knew that it would not stay in place if I did not powder it. For contour, I jumped into Subconscious. This is the shade that I usually use to contour. It is the cool tone in this palette, but I wanted to make it a very sharp contour. I feel like when I think of vampires, I get the Morticia Adams feel where she's very contoured. So I went with a very sharp brush. I used the Morphe Y12, which is like the flat face, like thin brushes. I normally don't use them, but I wanted this to be very sharp. So that's why I used it for this look. Normally, I would make sure I would blend that out like crazy, but for this look, I did want to keep it very sharp, so not too much blending. I did both cheeks, of course, and then I added quite a bit to make kind of like almost a heart shape of my forehead to kind of contour that as much as possible. You guys kind of get the gist from watching it. I also heavily contoured my double chin, my neck. I wanted to look a lot thinner and more like brittle like <laughs> and I also did underneath my bottom lip just to make it a look a little bit more poutier and my nose too and I took it all the way up to my brows because I really wanted that contour to stand out. Then I jumped into my Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. This is a discontinued palette, so you don't have to use this. You could even use the Urban Decay 2 palette, just any cool tone palette that you have. I went in with this one because I personally have it and I wanted to make sure that I'm using it instead of it just going to waste. So I went into this and I took the shade Password if you are going to use this palette. And I wanted my contour to be a little bit more gray toned. So I added it pretty much everywhere I contoured. I added some gray and I blended it out. So I would add the gray with the Luxie 140 Detail Tapered Blender from their Wonder Woman collection. And then I would kind of just blend those two colors together with the Morphe Y12 again, just to make my face look a lot more cool toned than what it was. So for brows, I went in with one of the darkest brow pencils I own, which is the IT Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil in Universal Taupe. And I filled in my brows pretty thick, pretty sharp. That's what I was wanting to go for. But after blending them out and adding my NYX Control Free Clear Brow Gel, it did diffuse the color quite a bit a lot less than what I was wanting. So if you do have darker hair, you might want to do more of a lot darker brow just to make your look more sharp and I also tried to define my brows by adding some of the white paint pot from wet n wild and I blended that out with the beauty blender and I liked how my brows turned out a lot I think it was when I added the clear brow gel I wanted to make sure they stayed in place but I feel like it did take quite a bit of the deep shade away from it Jumping back in to the password shade from the Smoky palette, I took this up my nose and pretty much all over my eyes, but I was very defined with it. So I made sure I made my nose contour a lot more gray tone first. And then I took this into my crease underneath my eyes just to make it look a little bit more like I had a shadow underneath my eyes. Pretty much you're wanting to make yourself look like you are sick <laughs> and like you haven't slept in days, which I'm a mom so I know how that feels and on average days this is what I look like. <laughs> Then I took the white matte shade from this palette called 13 and I used this to brighten the brow bone area and I also took the shade right down my nose to make it pop a little bit more to make that contour look a little bit more real. I love the effect that that had on my nose so I also put a little bit of this underneath my jaw contour to make it look a little bit more defined and sunken in too. Shake and 
Then I went in with the matte black shade called Black Market, and this is where you just have fun. I packed this all over my lid. I took it underneath my eyes. Your goal is to look like a bank robber or a raccoon. And I was completely messy with it. And when I get done with that, you guys can see that I cleaned up the edges just a little bit with my damp beauty blender. Then I use the Marc Jacobs Beauty Highliner Gel Crayon, just a eyeliner and my waterline and my tight line. This is the black one and it's called Blacker. And then I use that same brush that I've been using to smudge it out on the lower lash line. Then jumping right in to the ink in the shade Blacklist from Pretty Vulgar. This is just like a gel pot eyeliner. And I attempted just a wing, but I got a little carried away. And then I thought, what the hell, let's just make this a whole lid wing. So I just kind of got really creative with it and made it bigger and bigger until I was happy with them. And I thought that they were even enough. They still looked more like sisters than twins, but I overall liked that I went with that because it made the look a lot more dark and black than what it was before. I then went back into that gray shade from the Spooky palette and smudged it all around this eyeshadow to make it blended and not so much of a harsh line. And I also went back into the Pretty Vulgar gel pot and added that in my very inner corner just to kind of connect it to where it wasn't like so empty and nothing going on there. I wanted to definitely make it more darker. This was another fun part. So for the berry tones in this, I used all liquid lipsticks. So this was from my Live Glam Kiss Me subscription, but you can honestly use any liquid lipsticks that you have that are close to these shades. One of them is Vixen, which is just a very deep berry. And then the other one is Tease, which is another deep berry, but it has a little bit more red to it. I mixed both of those on my lower lash line. I also added them right above my crease where I have the black at and blended that out just to make it look more like vampy. And I overall love the outcome. I did want it to be a little bit more red, but I love the berry tones that I got with this look. It honestly just took a lot of blending out after adding it on with just a flat eyeshadow brush and then I went back in with my blender brush so I could blend it all out so there was no harsh lines. I went back in with the Pretty Vulgar gel eyeliner and added some more to my lower lash line and then I started the fun veins and I just went crazy with it. I added them all over. You don't have to be neat. They ended up turning out really cool no matter however I did them. I started them out pretty little but I wanted it to be a little bit more dramatic so I took it way down my cheek. And then for the red that I'm using here, I mixed the Vixen and T-Shades again and I just stamped it on with this flat eyeshadow brush that I used for my eyes. And then I went back in with the blender brush, which was pretty much didn't have anything on it. And I blended that all out. And then I went back in with the black Pretty Vulgar gel eyeliner and deepened up some of those veins so that there was some more dimension throughout the different veins. To finish off the eyes, I curled my lashes and threw on some Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I've been loving this mascara and I was going to do falsies, but with all of the deep and black shades, I knew that you probably wouldn't even be able to see them in the end. So I just doubled up layers with this mascara until I was happy with it. And yeah, that's the finished eye look. So for the lips, I want to do a very dark ombre effect. So I started out with that pretty vulgar gel eyeliner once again, and I outlined my lips just like I would with a lip liner. 
Then I jumped in to the Velour Liquid Lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I don't even know why I didn't show it in the video, but that is what I'm using. And I'm using the famous shade Unicorn Blood. The ombre effect turned out so good. I loved it so much. Then I wanted to jump into a little bit of blood to finish off this look. First, I tried one of my Kiss Me Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Poison Apple. And you guys can see I tried to do like some detail work to make it look like it was dripping down. But it honestly did not look realistic whatsoever and was a complete fail. So I did have to take out my cheap fake blood and put some of that on to finish the look. It ended up being kind of crappy fake blood, but for pictures and for this video, it turned out really good and I was pretty proud with the outcome of this. After the blood, I did take a little bit of the Pretty Vulgar gel liner and added a little bit more to my lips to define the edges of them. And added a little bit more unicorn blood to that ombre lip. And this is the completed look. I'm not like mad at it. I think that it turned out really good. I love the eye look. I wanted to go more like deep reds, but I'm actually really happy with how the lipsticks mix to create like these purples and stuff like that. Yes, my fake blood is like peeling off at this point. That was definitely a letdown with this whole look is the fake blood coming off. Um, it really does dry down. Some of it's staying in place, but others is just starting to flake off a little bit. But I think my favorite part is definitely the eyes. I love the veins and I just love how deep and dark this look is, especially compared to last week's. If you guys have not seen last week's, I will have it linked up here. We were a little bit more colorful with fairies, so that was more of like brighter and big pops of colors there. But I'm glad that we're mixing it up a little bit and going a little bit darker again. Um, our first week of this collab, we posted our own Sally-inspired looks from The Nightmare Before Christmas. So I will also have that linked at the end of this video if you guys want to check that out. Let me know what you guys think of this look down in the comments. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out Max's vampire look. And I will see you guys in my next video.